hello out there welcome again to this tutorial on probability in this video we'll be looking at experimental probability where we'll be taking the results of experiment to calculate probability so first we look at random experiment a random experiment is an experiment in which its results cannot be predicted in advance if we let else be the set of all possible outcomes of the experiment, n of s as the total number of possible outcomes, e be the event space in the experiment, and n of e is the total number of the event space, then the relative frequency, that is n of e over n of s, is used to define the probability of event e occurring this is given as rf equal to p of e equal to n of e over n of s where rf is relative frequency and p of e is probability of e so we now look at solved problems example one the Table below shows the outcomes of rolling a fair dice 100 times. So we have the number 1 to 6, which are the numbers written on the faces of a dice, and the given frequencies are there. Find the probability of obtaining A, 1, B, 4, C, odd number. So in the solution, we start with probability of obtaining 1. In the table, 1 appears 15 times out of the 100 times. So, we have the probability to be 15 over 100. Since the total number of times for ruling the dice is 100. So, simplifying this to the simplest form, we have it as 3 over 20. That's that for problem 1a. For 1b, the probability of obtaining 4. The probability of obtaining 4 is going to be the frequency of 4, which is 14 over 100. That is the total number of times the dice was rolled. And in the simplest form, we have it as 7 over 50, since 2 divides both 14 and 100 to give 7 and 50 respectively so we go to c part of the problem probability of obtaining odd numbers so the odd numbers on the faces of the dice are 1 3 and 5 so we are going to add their respective frequencies that is 15 13 and 22 to get the numerator of the fraction of the probability and 100 will still be maintained as the denominator. So we have it as 15 plus 13 plus 22 over 100. So summing up this, this is 28 plus 22, that gives 50 over 100. That gives a 1 over 2. And that's all for example 1. We go to example 2. For example 2, the table shows the population distribution of a village. So the age distribution are 0 to 11, 12 to 18, 19 to 35, and 36 to 70, giving their respective frequencies as 340. 280, 200, and 180. So find the probability that a villager selected at random is A. Less than 11 years. B. Between 19 and 35 years. C. Above 36 years. And between 12 and 35 years. So starting from A part of the problem. Um, the Probability of the age less than 11 is the first set of the age bracket, which is 0 to 11. 
and the frequency there is 340 over the total population of the village and to get the total population of the village we are adding all the frequencies so this is 340 to 280 gives 620 620 plus this will give us the 800 plus 200 will give 1000 so that's going to give us over 1000 simplifying this to the simplest form 0 cancel 0, 2 here 17, 2 in the remaining 100 we give us a 50. So we have the probability of selecting a villager whose age is less than 11 to be 17 over 50. Then we go to problem 2b that is between 19 and 35 years. So the probability that a villager selected at random is between 19 and 35 will be the frequency of the age bracket of 19 and 35 which is 200 over 1000. Two zeros cancel two zero. We have it as 1 over 5 in the simplest form. Then for the C part of the problem. The probability that a villager selected at random is above 36 years will be on the age bracket between 36 years and 70 and the frequency there is 180 over 1000. The 0 we cancel 0 that gives 9 over 50. Then we go to D part of the problem. For D we are to find the probability that a villager selected at random is between 12 and 35 years of age. So the probability is going to be between these two age brackets. So that their probability will be sum of the frequencies over the total population. 280 plus 200 gives 480 over 1000. So is 0 we cancel 0. 48 over 100 in the simplest form gives 12 over 25. And that is the end of solution to example 2. So we go to example 3. Example 3. The table shows the scores of students in a test. We have the row for the scores 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And the frequencies are respectively 4x. 7, 8, 6, and uh, 3. If the probability that a student selected at random scored 4 is 0 0.125, calculate A, the value of X. B, probability that a student selected at random did not score 6. In our solution, we are told that the probability of selecting a student at random scored 4 is 0 0.125 and uh, conventionally to get the probability of a student who scored 4 we say the frequency of 4 this is x over the sum of the frequencies that's going to be 4 plus x plus 7 plus 8 plus 6 plus 3 so I go like this, 6 plus 4 gives 10, 7 plus 3, 10, that's 28, then plus x. So that's going to give us over 28 plus x. Expressing this as fraction for easy manipulation, 0 0.125 is 1 over 8. And the cross multiplying. I'm going to have it as 8x, that is x times 8, giving us 8x, 28 plus 1 times 1 will give us 28 plus x. I'm bringing this to this side, we have a 7x is equal to 28, where x is equal to 4, dividing both sides by 7. And that's all for the value of x. We've gotten a solution of example. 3a 
we go to B. Calculate the probability that a student selected at random did not score 6. First, we calculate the probability that the student scores 6. Probability that the student scores 6 will be the frequency of 6, that's 8, over the sum of the frequencies, that's uh, 28 plus 4, which is uh, 32, and the probability will be 8 over 32. And 8 goes into 8 gives uh, 1 over 4. So from here, to get the probability that the student selected at random did not score 6 will be 1 minus the probability that he scored 6. And the probability will now be 3 over 4. And that's all for the solution of example 3. And this is the highest we are going to take in this uh, tutorial. Check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get links to other videos on probability. I hope you enjoyed this. Till we come your way again, goodbye.